In Sudan, the International Criminal Court's chief prosecutor during a press conference in Khartoum urged Sudan to hand over Ahmed Harun, accused of war crimes in Darfur, to face trial alongside a fellow X regime figure. The call was made after concluding a landmark visit to Darfur. You asked about Omar al-Bashir. Um, he is one of those people who have been indicted by the ICC. And um, as I have explained, the engagement that we are doing with the government is to ensure that those who are wanted by the ICC are transferred to the ICC. And uh, I, I think I've explained already that we are starting with Haroon for the reasons I've already given. But that doesn't mean that we don't want the others. If you just start with the example of Ahmed Haroon, which I took uh, time to explain, um, the judges of, uh, who were hearing the confirmation of charges um, should give their uh, decision by the end of July uh, as to whether the charges have been confirmed uh, or not. But we, we are confident that what we have presented to the judges we believe that the charges will be, will be confirmed. This is the window of opportunity, for instance, that we have with respect to Haroon. Um, surrender before the end of July is critically important because if we want the judges to wait for the trial, tr two trials to take place, we also have to do a confirmation of charges uh, of Ahmed Haroon. ICC has not stopped working. It has not stopped looking at the situation. It will continue. And uh, I want that those who are committing this, the crimes must, uh, must also be, be careful that uh, there is a possibility, as I said earlier on, that we will continue to look into those crimes. Fatou Ben Souda is the first ICC persecutor to examine the conflict in Sudan 16 years ago.